Hi Jaguars, this is day five of the school closure. Um, I just want you to know that all the staff and um, teachers are thinking about you and we really miss you and I know some of you want to come back to school but unfortunately because of the circumstances the schools have to remain closed um, but let's just kind of make the most of it so you can go ahead and um, spend time with family, right, and um, spend time with your siblings. So let's take advantage of this time. So um, there's a couple announcements before we get started in like our math mini lesson that I'm doing about ratios. Um, so there's important websites that you can go to um, if you want to get some extra practice with reading or um, um, just like catch up on other lessons. There's read theory you could do if it's not already assigned to you. Um, New ELA is another one, Quill is another one, Epic, Brain Pop, and um, Scholastic.com. And as far as for family resources go, if you go on to our SFIM website, there is a family resources um, tab, and that gives you any kinds of resources for um, special education resources, student assigns, assignments, lesson plans that we gave out um, on Friday, and um, parent resources. And let's get started to our mini lesson that I'm doing. I am using a small bag of a skills and we are gonna be doing ratios. Um, so remember ratios is the relationship between two amounts. So we started learning this in sixth grade and then follow up on um, in seventh grade and also we kind of do a little bit of that in eighth grade but it's more of like sixth and seventh grade but you can always do this and kind of re re um relearn this lesson and i think it's a fun lesson to do that you could do at home you can incorporate your siblings if you'd like to and you can use whatever kind of items that you have at home that you don't have to like necessarily use candy or food and you know so see what we can um try to use that you can do at home all right, so we have Skittles in front of me. I already opened the bag. So here are our amounts. We have three yellow. We have five orange, two purple, four green, and we have one red. So if we were gonna compare two items, we can go ahead and use any two colors that you'd like. So if I wanna use purple purple to orange i would say that there are two purple two five orange so that ratio would be two to five so for example here's another one if i want to use red to yellow i'm going to use the one red to three yellow so that ratio would be one to three and for example, if you want to use green to green to red, make sure let's follow up with that and we're doing it the correct way. So since I said green to red, we're going to do green first. So I have four green to one red. So that ratio would be four to one. So this is the short, simple lesson on ratios. Um, we're gonna put this on Schoology so you can add a discussion to your math um, classes. So whoever you have for math, you can go ahead and do the same kind of example. If you wanna do Skittles, if you wanna do M&Ms, there's other ways to do that, or you could do gummy bears, right? So if you wanna use candy or food items, if you can, if not, you can always use things that you have in your home right, that you don't have to go out and buy. But um, go ahead and put on Schoology what you used and what are some ratios that you received, right? So in this bag of Skittles that I used, we don't have the same amount of any of them, right? We have one red, we have four green, we have two purple, we have five orange, and we have three yellow. So in this case, there's not a same equal amount of any color. They're all different. So you can go ahead and try this out and maybe another bag of, of Skittles or a full version, 
right? A bigger version, or you can do this with any other candy or M&Ms or and uh, things like that. So um, please let your teacher, your math teacher, know what you received, right? What results you got. And I think this is a fun little lesson that you could do at home, include your family, and just know that we are all thinking about you again, and we wish we could be there at school, but unfortunately we can't. So just make the most of it. So spend time with your family. Um, I know I'm doing the same. So yeah. Try this out.